this is what you do. You go through a little thing and you get chocolate out of it for getting to work with incredible professionals who use incredibly, incredibly wonderful equipment. Well, Let's great. take a look at that mouth. Say ah. Uh. Steven, you're gonna be the first to try these Captain Crunch delights. Oh, me. Okay. Yes. Me? Oh, shit, man. So we've got. We should explain what these are. These are. Yes. These a, are. A promotional item from Taco Bell. Uh, and they America's are, favorite. America something. runs Mexican on this food. when their ties shit. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't know if it was in Canada, but. Um, they're basically donuts. They're, but... They are donut holes filled with glaze, oh, and fuck. they're coated in. They're strawberry flavored donuts, and they're coated in Captain Crunch bits. Yes. <laughs> if, <crumbly> and <laughs> and if if nuclear waste was pink, it would be this color. It looks like an N64 color. Yeah. Atomic. It's pink. also just as blurry. Yeah, it's the graphics. I can't, I can't see them no matter I how I focus see my eyes. Really, it really is, like, this is not a natural color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, no, nothing in nature is this color unless it will kill you. Yeah, this is like the, this is nature's warning sign, do not eat this. Pretty much. Like, you know the berries that the birds leave behind? They look like this. Yeah, if a, if a frog was would kill you if you ate it, it would be this color. Yeah, uh, if I was in the rainforest, I'd eat I'm just going to eat this shit, okay? Oh, okay. Wait, gonna... well, I thought I was starting. Who Fuck cares? you. Okay, so Ethan's going to start. Uh, oh god! Okay, put right it, away, a uh, little bit firmer than I would have anticipated. Oh, that's, uh, that's good. Cool. This is this is the oiliest thing I've ever held in my entire life. It's a life. donut, like you know. Okay. You put it in your mouth. Chew slower. And louder. We got two dozen of these, by the way. Okay. You know, how about, this? how about this? Try them without stating your opinion, and we'll get a round table. Okay. So I'll go next? Yeah, go ahead. No, it doesn't matter, because we're not going to state our opinion anyway. Oh, God. What? What do you mean? We're, we're, what, we're, we're going to really die? Gonna, we're not going to state our opinion as soon as we eat it. We, we can all eat them together. I'm just we're gonna we're reviewing these. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. you don't, you get well, you guys need to talk while I... Yeah, okay. We can't, Declan can't, is, we had okay, a two-thirds yeah. of the cast chewing it in the, into the microphones at I'm a time. I'm having another one. Okay. Well, no. Oh, no. A preview of my review. All right, sure. Okay, I'm doing this. Okay, so we got two people chewing right mm -hmm. now. I'm okay. just talking to keep you guys entertained. Hi, right. guys. How was your day today? All right, I'm back. Steven, hit me. Go, go I'm ahead. also back. Okay. Um, I'm back from the land of flavor. Flavor land. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go to that land of flavor. Flavor land is my favorite. Good luck on your journey, brother. Producer. Oh, man. I'm... You ever think about how crazy we are, man? Look at look at us being crazy right we're like, now. We're like those girls that randomly start dancing to prove how crazy they are. <laughs> I have fun. Random I mean, dancing. They, when I created this podcast, you know, with Carly as an inspiration, so I would yeah. I would hope that yeah. you know you'll see whatever. what's the song from I Carly? Did, did you just improv a song that you thought sounded like our I Carly? What is that? That'd be so wonderful. I don't know what the I Carly intro is. Was that I Carly? I, that was my attempt. I don't remember that theme song. It probably you're probably right. Yeah, I haven't watched iCarly in coming up on a decade. I so. remember I, I never watched Victorious, but I remember that theme. Song I remember for some that because the girls in it are pretty. Okay, um, lots, lots all of right. Feet. So we've all eaten them. Yes, that's yeah. a donut. They're all right. I'm gonna finish these. They taste pretty weird. Yeah, they're not natural. And they, yeah, like they're not like super sweet. Ooh, this one's good. I and they taste vaguely strawberry-ish. Which again is kind of strange well, for a donut. I say this as I reach in for another one, though. Mm -hmm. They mm. taste like you mm. know the the Captain Crunch or whatever it's supposed yeah. to be. I mean, it, it tastes. See, like I don't taste cereal. any Captain Crunch. Yeah, I'm getting the only flavor I'm getting from this thing is dough uh, it, and kind of like, a weird. What's what's yeah. on the inside? It's just cream frosting or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I think it's just butter. That would also make sense. That would also be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that would also. And, and so, oh, by the way, the, before we get too far in, uh, this is the three weebos. I'm here with Steven. Uh, <coughs> oh, God, we've lost him. How's it go? Mm. Formerly, we had Declan. <laughs> I'm just, donuts are, mm. I'm Declan, how's it go? And, how, uh, how do you, and how do, you do? I'm Ethan. Um, uh, this, is a, this is a podcast where we review Taco Bell products. And they'll come at you next week with a Taco Bell grande. You know, that would actually be more appropriate for our name if we just reviewed Mexican restaurants. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, me Mexican restaurants like Taco Bell. <laughs> as authentic as it comes. Yeah. Um, next week we'll come at you with a Taco Bell grande review. 
Our Bell Ground Day. Oh, well, was, we're, um, we might as well review Pac-Man next. Like, what are you, what are you even talking about? It's a classic. <laughs> well, everyone knows that Miss Pac-Man is better than, than Pac-Man. But she, what's the difference? The problem with Pac-Man yeah. is that the AI is the same. Like, it's not even AI. They just follow the same. They follow you, right? And you can just do the same pattern over and over and over again. And Miss Pac-Man, they just go fucking crazy. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man's a crazy overhaul where it's the exact same <laughs> game, but you have a bow, and the AI is slightly better. I remember um, twenty dollar expansion. You know, my mom, my mom, and I'm sure all of our moms are of the age where they played Pac Man when it was new. <laughs> all my, of our moms, you know, my mom was born in sixty one, right? That's like the perfect, she would have been the perfect shit. age. Well, I, I, all right, still, my mom's I'm, an old soul. My mom, my mom born never touched in a video game four, All right, uh, you know, she played Pac Man. I mean, I remember a few years ago, I I bought one of those plug in and play Pac Man things, yep. and I thought I was going to play it the most, but no, my mom ended up playing it the most. And she remembered the patterns that she used yeah. to that she used to use, mm -hmm. and she got like the high wanna, score you, of the entire family. If you want to be MLG, yeah, you got to um, fucking. What was what was the case? Um, still going on this Pac-Man thing. What was the case? Is it true? Like years ago, like Reagan offered a whole bunch of money to anyone that can um, go past like the screen of death. Or whatever the it's death called. screen, the, the death uh, screen. kill kill screen, kill screen. Yes, uh, I don't know fuck all about American politics, so I don't. Yeah, this is a really political subject about <laughs> just because it involves Ronald Reagan. Reagan was their PM, right? What? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> he was a, he was a high ranking member of Parliament. Okay, uh, but all oh, right, we're in Canada. Uh, I don't remember that. No, but so my my dad was. Uh, I'm gonna put this on my dad because he's a cool guy. Mm. My dad, who was probably in his mid 30s by the time I'm Pac still Man, eating these by the way. By the time Pac Man became a craze, uh, he went around to lo like he went to every town around our town and would get the highest score on the asteroids cabinet there. Awesome. Cool. He was he just had all the high scores in the area. See, I, asteroids I, is easy though because you just keep you know, they, you know the strategy, right? In asteroids. No. You just keep one small asteroid around and then wait for the UFOs to keep coming and coming and you just you just really and you just rank up your or, you know you 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 increase your score for hours and hours but then there's no danger because there's no asteroids left except um, for the one time. I one. I used to be good um good friends. I I, I it doesn't matter thing. But I used to be good friends with the guy who I think currently still holds the world record for Tapper. For Tapper, yeah. Oh. Um, and I think he he did have some of the world records from uh, some other games. I think including maybe Donkey Kong. Um, well, wait, no, no, wait, wait, no. he's the, he's the king of Kong. Yeah, no, he's he's not that guy. No, you wait, don't know wait, that the guy. King of, the king. Well, no, I, I got confused. King of Kong. King Kong is awesome. wasn't that a documentary? Yes. yes. Yes, he was on that. Really? They, they interviewed him huh. cool. because well, well, I mean, oh, Tapper God. Tapper is a pretty big mm. game. You know, mm. and if you, if you, and he's definitely. And like the Dave and Buster scene, sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean. It's a big scene. Still, so, like, I think it's kind of cool. He's, he's, I haven't yeah, talked to yeah, him sure. in years. Um, but, this guy. I has a whole base train of thought. Whatever, let's talk about the show we watched. My yeah. dad, my dad Fuck. just likes Ska. What are we talking about? I mean, <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, no, like Sublime Ska. Oh, not like Money Money Boston Ska? No, not cool it's, Ska. It's Sublime Ska. I just thought it was ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's you can you can be both you can there's it's a it's a sliding scale ass psych yeah scass they call it scass <laughs> scass but scass oh it's so hot outside I got tons of scass yo I got oh. a bad case of scass mm -hmm. oh, get me man, some wet you. wipes it's oh dude I just I just wiped the new Sublime album off my ass <laughs> they don't make albums anymore do they I'm sure they do oh no it's they and Dave Matthews remember when Dave Matthews band was the thing for a hot minute. And by hot, then I mean like nearly 20 years. Yeah, nearly coming up on a couple decades. Jesus Christ. I, it just pissed me off because, like, in, in high school, every single time where the teacher was like, okay, we're just going to work on stuff that so anyone want to play any music, <sighs> every single fucking time without fucking fail, someone, Dave Matthews! And then the teacher was like, oh, good thing I have their discography. And then they play Dave Matthews. Yeah, I, got, I got my mom like a one gigabyte iPod once for her birthday, and thinking, like, she doesn't listen to music. She's never going to fill this thing. And she didn't use it because she couldn't fill it with enough Dave Matthews. <laughs> she just makes so much you, fucking music. Declan, you can never have enough Dave Matthews. Oh, boy. Yeah. You, you guys remember even in high school in the parking lot, I'd remember seeing that fucking, like, what is that, fairy? I know thing? the logo. The Dave yeah, Matthews yeah. band logo. Fuck. If you have that on is your bumper just, sticker, is it, is you're it, an asshole. Is it just like a white square? Is that his logo? I think. Oh, I think, burn! I think that's. Yo! That wasn't meant to be a pun. I'm just. I tried to think of the most generic symbol well, I could. A white square is a. I, a pretty, a white square is a. Pretty, it's very apt. Yo, I yeah, it's I a, don't think anyone has claimed the white square is a. We the three we both. It's the surrender should, flag. That's France. So France. <laughs> yeah, France. Has it. 
Uh, Good France jokes. I mean, you know, we have, that's a white we have fun because they're in Quebec. We need a white square. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, but like <laughs> white square with black borders. Oh, <laughs> uh, but, but no, it's, it's, no, it's just no, that's square. just an Oreo. It's insulting. It's... But, um, yeah, but like I, I would be like, okay, I'm gonna put on my music and I put it on a 20 minute Godspeed song. Yeah. It's 20 minutes of of post rock. Yeah, just news clips and fucking. And just, there's a fire burning. <laughs> Trees burning. Yeah, I'd, cars I'd say, burning. Yeah, everything it's burning. Clips Play of some Captain talking. Beefheart. Boom, and, 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 and then people would well never talk to me ever again. Yeah, but on the actual though, you put on some new Japan, you have a good time. People like the good time having sex. No, <laughs> no, that's I the mean, opposite of what happens for in other life. for other people. I mean, man, yeah. So we watched the show this week. Did we? Yeah, yeah we did. We watched. Yeah. A, 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 yes, it is. Help him with the title, Deck. I'm gonna hit you with the. Do you want it in what flavor? You want it, you want an English title? You want to give me in a, both. Give me that Jap speak. You want a Jap title? Give me both. Okay, the English title, the real language title, is uh, is Daily Lives of High School Boys. Now, right. now we're legally obligated to also say that in French. Oh. I'm from Quebec. Yeah, you know French people and like people in Quebec, Quebec. Uh, Daily Lives of High School Boys. Donchi Coco say no Nichi Joe, which or, they, which you'll know because they sing it a whole they lot. They can't stop singing that fucking name. They do it every yeah. time. Okay, or as we like to call it, Nichi Bros. Nichi Bros is. That's the, not what we. We did not that's invent what that. Everyone likes to call Some, it sometimes, and that's yes. why that's what, what we're the gonna call it, it for the rest yeah. of the. Okay, Stephen. I love yeah. this show. Um, oh, you want to explain oh. this show? Is it time? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Wait, on. You're missing I, I didn't even prepare myself for this. I don't think Shit. I. Oh no! I need to. Hold Wait, on. why are you even here, Declan? What? No, hold on! You I just have, gotta. You have one job. I have it. I swear. I just have to. Ah! Uh, I can't stop uh, eating these things. Uh. Oh no! Holy shit! Oh no! I thought you ate the whole cup. Never mind. Oh. No. I can't find it. I can't find the <laughs> the intro. Um, and no. love roosters. Keeps don't say ganders. it yourself. Everyone else loves. No. Steven trying to explain anime. You pointed at okay. me to say it, but I didn't do it. I know. I could All right, find it. So it's too late. I already did the intro oh, for Oh, man. The ne- moment's next, gone. Next week, I swear. All right, so anyway. Well, not next week. <laughs> week after next week. Well, well, you know. I should have prepared myself for this. I don't know why I don't expect it. Um, it's a very you, easy concept. You, you so just Nietzsche, brought it upon yourself. So Nietzsche Bros, a.k.a. The Daily Lives of High School Boys. Close enough. Is about, isn't that it? I, the Daily Lives of High School Boys? I mean, whatever. Yeah. That's the title. Is, He's right. no is the, about... Means. The okay, daily whatever. lives it's of high fine. school boys. Done. Sort of. But they're crazy. They no, are, no, they're not. They're pretty wacky. They're not Nucci Joes at all. They're what? Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a Nietzsche Joe. No. It's not an ordinary N- life. Nucci Joes. I mean, all right. It's so, so when you watch so your Nucci Joes. It's, it's, it's just a slice of life, I guess. Uh, I mean. Mm, sort of. Where they just play like. I don't know. Total, that's, I would where, where, they just, where they just play like moments. Kind of. Instead of like. It's a four coma. Yeah, sure. If that's. I don't yeah. think it is. It actually a fork. It's probably a fork. It's Maybe. very much that style. Yeah, I don't know though. So, hmm. so it's not like all you know. Twenty-two minutes is one storyline. It's no, all it's, like okay, you know, two or two or three or five minute sure skits, glimpses or bits, moments bits, in which yeah. you know, in, in in it goes over you know a whole bunch of different characters. We have our main group of guys and. Names don't exist for us anymore. <laughs> and by us, you mean you and me. You and I mean, we don't there's know. So many names. characters. I know oh my names. god! I know um, all the names. Let's see. I mean, there are these three main guys. They just like to hang out. But then again, that describes everyone else. <laughs> Shit! Everyone's great. <laughs> I can't explain. Okay. Okay. I can't it. explain Anyone this show. It's realities. too. It's too easy. Twenty twelve, sunrise. Okay, so this is af- this hot, is hot off of Code this is Geass. before their masterpiece though. <laughs> what? This is prior to their true masterpiece. Oh right, uh, 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 they're, what they're known for. Yes, uh, the Sam uh, Flam. Uh, Valvrave. Sam Flam, that's Manglobe. I've been living a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, Sunrise would never make anything that looks as shitty as no, Sam. No, Flam. Would make, they would never make anything that good. <laughs> prior to Valvrave, they're just they made Code Geass R two, the greatest show of all time. And then, wait, that's the and then waited a short four years, and then made the second greatest show of all time. Well, that's just wrong. I mean, okay, maybe like it's in this show's in my it's top the same five. People? Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah, What's this other show? What? All right, so they made Code Geass. Yeah. And what else did they make? For Sunrise? Sunrise. Sunrise is fucking legendary. They've done everything. Don't even ask me that. I've yeah, never, they made Valve Rape, bro. Come I've on. I've never even heard of Sunrise. Cowboy Bebop. That's Gun- the same thing. Gundam. 
Yeah, I know of those. I've never yeah. heard of Sunrise. <laughs> those are all Sunrise. Oh, uh, shit. Code Geass, again, like I said. And also Square Enix is involved somehow with So they, so they made show. three good things. That's, yeah, they, that's why the first joke in the show is about Gundam and Final Fantasy, because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hot collabo. Squeenix joint. Yes. All right, so Squeenix. let's, let's continue this. You know, you, you try to do a better job Hold on a than second. me at, at explaining Ninja Bros. What? Can, I have... can you do a better job at explaining? I mean, you already you you already okay. you already hit it out of the park, Broski. You, we don't even we could end this podcast right now. We're That's done. been the three Weebos. Thanks. <laughs> playing the music. Uh, this is an adaptation of of a manga by by Yasunobu Yamauchi, who decided fuck it and quit this manga to start writing Toho Dojins instead. So fuck you, Yamauchi, for making the right decision. <laughs> Fucking die, kill yourself, make terrible. It, uh, makes me angry. But he's right. Turns out he was right. They're not even the. It's not even the porn kind of dojins. It's just. Turns out he was right. No, he's not. He's, he's not right. Hold on. Hold he's on. Wrong. I have the, the new Spike Lee movie title. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold no, on. Before boring. you tell us the title, tell me why you're bringing this up right because now. Because it's because it's a Squeenix joint and all Spike Lee. Wait, films. I'm sorry. What? This, did you, so, oh, a joint. Because every time we yes. say joint, you have to bring up fucking Spike Lee. Okay, so this is the new. Wait, this is this isn't going to be new by the time this airs, mind you. We do record it, these it early. Will, it will be his newest film. I'm okay, fine. So, so this, is, this is no longer breaking news by the time people is, hear this. This is the sweet blood of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> a, a Spike Lee joint. <laughs> and, this is. Uh, um, this, Jeez, this is that was worth it. This I'm, is I'm brought glad. to you by the person who made "If God Is Willing, the Creeks Won't Rise." Oh, <laughs> holy shit! Oh, oh, Abonics. My God. Abonics in my movie titles. <laughs> mm, not since Boys in the Hood. Not but, since Jungle Fever. That's not Ebonics. No, but it is a Spike Lee. If joke. it was Fever, then it would be slightly Ebonified. How about Mo Better Blues? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Spike Lee. Um. Boy. Okay. Yeah. Illustrious clear career of Spike Lee making that old boy remake. Making. The worst movies. I I, I, I like do the right thing. Uh, yeah, that's the one, right? Yeah. Or yeah. what is what's is Friday him? No, that's, <coughs> that's, that's the other black fuck. man. That's, <laughs> Excuse my it's getting my all uppity. I'm not used to black people. I'm I'm from Canada. We're all it's all it's all Asians and Indians up here. Unless you go to hey. Toronto. And then it's all Asians and, then it's and Greeks. Indians. Oh yeah, all Greeks up there. Okay. We, man, I can't believe we were there and we didn't eat a gyro. Um, I can't believe we were there. Not, not the currency, but a gyro. You, you know, you should have stopped me. Is. Stopped you from eating bad pizza, or yeah, yeah I mean, I, 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 I participated. I, I'm also at fault. You, yeah, this was a collaborative mistake. We went to quite a, like Nietzsche Bros. What? What? No, the it's, fuck not, is no a, it's not a mistake. Jam. What the fuck is the matter with it's you? Holy fuck! Um, you pissed me off for a sec. I watched this show years ago because I'm, I'm just, I'm just way ahead of you, you losers. But <laughs> what did you guys think? Because I remember the first episode being like fine, but then you get to the last bit. Of that episode, which is Literary Girl. Yes. It's like, oh my god, yeah. the show is actually really goddamn funny. Lit- yeah. smart. Lit- Lit- literary Girl is... Those are my favorite bits of yes. the show. Which it's really yes. good. Which I is, completely it's, agree it's, with I you. like every every time the music comes on, I know I'm in for some shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I, I like those... Actually, no, that's a lie. My favorite bits of the show are High School Girls are Funky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we yeah I prefer them. that to the actual show. They get... Yeah, they get dark. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, they do. Oh, yeah. they're, they're fucking great, though. We yeah. can get I like the lore of this world, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, it's so... It's... Man, I want to live this But there's, world. A, there's a bunch of different parties that cross over, but they're not super yeah. aware of each other. Yeah, so we got the three main guys who are... Um, wait, who are the three guys? Because there's Hidenori, mm-hmm. who is voiced by Tomozaku Sugito, which... Is there, you... is there a Tadakuni in there? Tadakuni is okay. also, yes. Uh, but, uh... And uh, you've got... Uh, which one is it? It's not Hat Guy. Uh, no. I, I one of them is voiced by the greatest voice actor of all there, time. There, right? There's blonde, yes. brown hair, and black hair. Oh, sure. Man, I've messed, I must have forgotten to get his name. It's voiced by the voice actor man with deep voice. Sure, yeah. Uh, and they get dramatic. I'm just going to look it up. I can't stand this. Um, yeah. So what did you think of the show altogether? It's pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> yeah. Podcast um, is all is over. It's all. It's all. Done. I enjoyed it. I really like this show. Guys. Of course you did. I I I can't even. Yeah, it's pretty good. But did I say Hidenori? It's it's more to me. It's yeah. more than pretty good. Like mm-hmm. I think this show now holds. Oh, a it's special it's, place it's in Yosh- my heart. Yoshitake. That's him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And then we got then you got student council. 
with Motoharu. I like the student council. Base. And Motoharu and vice president, who doesn't have a name, they just call him vice president. Yes. And he's tan yep. guy with really with really bright yellow hair. Yes. Yep. He's got like an old face. It's great. Yes. And then there's just student council president, and that's all I call him. Yep. Um, yeah. This was probably the most comfortable show I've ever watched. Really? Yeah, it's so... Probably. It's, it's extremely watchable and... It's and, so incredibly watchable and so much fun. And, I mean, it really, it goes by fast. It didn't... Yeah? I don't uh, you want to you wanna, you wanna challenge me, you bitch? It, I mean, it, if I challenge you, I mean, t t sub, give you my subjective opinion. I mean, like, and, then, and then, like, I... Let's fucking fight. It didn't, it didn't <laughs> grab me the way it grabbed you guys. Oh, I love this show. Um, like, other, like there were certain like there were certain clips that came on, and I knew I was gonna have a good time. Like like, I liked the sequence where the student council just became the like come to me to have your problem solved group. Yeah, yeah. I like that that I like that part. Yep. <laughs> like there were funny bits, but I I had, there were characters and in, in I didn't the main three guys weren't as funny as the like they were more broed broed down they broed down more like there was sure. more bonding with those sure. than there is with the other groups, but. I enjoyed the other groups more than them. Kind I of think, like in any other show. I mean, the other like, groups got a lot of time, though. Yeah. Well, to the point where it's, it, you know, it's high school boys in general. It's not just yeah. those three, but yeah, I don't know. I, I went back and watched this, and just every bit is good, almost. Like, there I, are very there was, few, like, not funny sketches. There's not a bit I didn't <sighs> like. Yeah, like, they're all really good. I mean, there's and, some better than others, but, I mean, like, maybe the worst one was a 7 out of 10. And we've mm. and we've probably talked about Japanese comedy and how it's always really really bad. I guess from the point of, point of view of Japanese comedy, yeah, like this, like the, this more is the fantastic. Bits, this, is br this is like the writing it, is but it really did, it did, brilliant. There's a lot of them where I get to the punchline and I'm like, I knew that was coming, or it's just like underwhelming. To I me. think I think you seem to think that like something that's predictable means it's bad. No, but it's not in like a, like it's a it doesn't subvert my expectations in a lot of them. Or, oh, but sometimes it really I mean, does, though. Sure, a lot of the time yeah, it really yeah. does. But, but, I mean, not remember, even... remember the one where they were the, the show. The episode starts out when they're all sitting on a riverbank talking, and there's one guy on the left that clearly doesn't belong in the group. Yeah, and you hear him talking, and they're talking about the guy who writes the manga. Oh yeah, and and they're all talking about what he's like, and the guy and the other the stranger keeps talking in a voice that's clearly not a voice actor, mm -hmm. and then they finally ask him who he is, and he goes, "I'm the I'm, 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 the, the, I'm the manga's editor." Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking perfect. I mean, it's like. For me, it's like even even for the clips that like are seem to be predictable. It's like you know what the punchline is going to be. It's sure. the small things that how it, how it gets there that are just so fucking good. Like there are so many small little things. Like for example, um, just like little pieces of dialogue or it's, I, just little jokes. I, the, a lot of them were again. A lot of them were really funny to me. But they're like an, again. I'd say at least half of them were like duds. Uh, Straight duds man. to me. Oh, wow, no way. No I, way. I, I sure, think, for you guys, yeah, but for me, it's... I, I think it's what helps so much is how amazing the characters are, because yes. in most Japanese comedies, the characters are so flat that when they do silly things, mm -hmm. you don't care, but, like, th like especially when it comes to, like, the girls in this show, because the, yeah. di the dynamic between high school boys and high school girls yes. in anime is so completely fucking standardized and just... This show tosses it out the window completely. Yes. All, all the yes. girls, all the girls are ridiculously crash. I really enjoy cr that. Cr crass. They're they're mean spirited. <laughs> and they're Horrible. Just, yeah, like they're the, very. The school, but they're really, really they're really entertaining. No, but, no, remember that that one clip? I think it was a, a high school girls are funky. Yes. Uh, clip which which they play you know for those listening at, at the end of the ED. So after the ED, yeah, yeah, it goes yeah. that high schools are funky. Um, there was one where like they're doing this like quiz thing, uh, like a game show. Thing. Right. Yes. And, and if you. And they'll, she'll ask like a really hard question, and if the girls get it right, they're wrong because high school girls shouldn't be that yeah. smart. I, I enjoyed or that it's one. Cute. There's it's also cute to be dumb. I think it's the, like I your sister. It. It's I, like both of your sisters. No, but they're I, actually no. dumb though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about your sister. I mean, nah, even your sister was a smart pretty, lady. Pretty dumb. Oh, it, it, you just you just. She did well. In yeah, the school. the first That's all I can the say. first segment of high school girls are funky. They're talking about like how much they hate high school boys, and yeah, one yeah. of them, uh, I think her name is Yanagin, who is who is voiced. I know. Her, she's voiced by Kobayashi Yu, who um, you'll recognize her in any anime because she always screams really good. Yes. That's her thing. She loves screaming. And they go out and they go out the window and they talk to their neighbor and they ask him why he's alive. <laughs> yeah. And here's I think I I think I have Oh yeah, here's here's a clip of them ask asking him why he lives. <laughs> I 
And, and then this, what does he do? This poor fucker. And then what does he do? <laughs> he tosses... He throws Pocky at them. <laughs> he tosses candy and they eat it like fucking so gorillas. What's, what's, the, what's the guy who just keeps giving money to people? Money? Oh, I don't... I, I remember, I don't, there's it, a guy who just keeps breaking out 5,000 yen notes from like, <laughs> yeah, just, just to, no to go away. Just like, just like there was a missing... All right, so, you know, do the, do the bros... They're, t- they're talking whatever. A bee lands on one of their mouths, and so they instead kiss. of swatting it away, they 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 kiss to squish it, and the guy just gives them money. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, they didn't t- count as a first kiss, because there's a bee in between. But here's 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, yeah, just all the guys in this show are, they're always on the same page, yeah. and it's really yeah. goddamn funny, but they're also all kind of, it, like, it, it's... It portrays them differently than other shows because they're all just kind of sad sacks. Mm-hmm. It's oh it's a God. it's a more Western I, way of portraying I knew, dudes. Was it, was it was it the first episode when one of the guys is walking to school with a girl and the whole entire class? Yeah, it had to be the first episode. And the whole entire class looking out the school window and observing them, and then the one guy with with the stubble, the cool guy, the delinquent, yeah, um, just kind of just goes in and starts observing, making like almost like. Uh, Sherlock Holmes kind of <laughs> observations, yeah. and oh, it turns out she was just a lost girl, you know, yeah. misunderstanding. But that, at that scene, I knew these are some fucking great characters. They have a real relationship, all of them. Do. Yeah, it's really it's great. like one of my like top three favorite bits in the entire show was when they keep trying to sneak one of their sister's pant like underwear yeah. and wear it. <laughs> and it's a running joke, and, it, really, and. One of the characters, to figure out why they keep doing this, puts panties on his head. He's like, I have to go with the bag. <laughs> yeah. And he just throws panties on his head as, as a, a uh, sign of camaraderie. There's really great camaraderie in this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's like, it's not relatable, but like, it's like you wish it was relatable because yeah. it's or, so awesome. It's even, crazy. even in the, 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 you know, it, it was the, um, high school boys and older brothers or something. You know, it shows one of the older brothers and talking to, you know, like some of the sisters. And they're saying, God, oh, they, they, they keep taking our panties and stuff. Like, oh, how awful. <laughs> and then <laughs> yes. later, like, they, they, like, they, she has them in a head like this when he reaches in his pocket, pulls out a pair of panties. And, like, these are mine. Uh, again, this goes back to my thing where, like, I think I like the world around the boy and, like, how they impact the world around them more than I like what the boys are doing themselves. Like, the fact that this is affecting the other people in yes. that world is hilarious. Oh yeah, but it, it just, God, it really yeah. captures, it really captures, like, the high school feeling of, like, being mature most of the time, but also doing really dumb shit. Yes. And just being, just like doing really silly I mean, stuff because it's funny. Like, because there's, there's the scene where they pick up a stick on the street and they pretend they're in an RPG. Yep. Yep. And then Sugita says, <laughs> no <wa> Jack. <laughs> My name is Jack. His name is Jack. And also, <laughs> no <wa> Jack. Am I here? Jack. I love the way he says that. Sugita she should have won a fucking award for this show. He was so good. Right. He's it, also it, he's also killing, by the way. You missed. You watched that show dubbed. I like the dub. He's. But I know. But, you, but then again, not once in this show does it does it be like they have homework or whatever. I mean, yeah, I mean, no. It, it's a, you assume they do. They're in or school. if they did have homework, it would be the setup. I, I, yeah, I, I love for a joke. Their yeah. teacher is a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh, like, Hose, man. The, like like the the three bros, or whatever. They come into school. And like, you know, the first where is everyone they're talking? Oh, the teacher comes in. Oh, I, you know, I told everyone, but I forgot to tell you guys. She writes on the board. It's like, new semester starts tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> that is an example of a joke that, like, that, that one in particular was a joke where I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's the okay. And then this, and then the scenes, and I'm like, like, what? And then they chase after. I'm like, oh. Declan, who invited this sourpuss? I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah. I think he's the- just some. Some, home, some homeless fun hater who walked oh in off the God. street. You got some fun to spare. I need some slice of life. Slice oh. of life? Nani! <laughs> <laughs> Again, I... Suki's a man fucking killing it. He's the best. What else was I going to talk about? Do you guys have anything you want to talk um, about? I Let's see. Some of the groups that uh, we... I think we both agreed on this. I got one. Um, <laughs> the student council group. We, we already briefly mentioned this. Yes. The, the boys' student council group. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, I fucking love that one scene where it's like, you know, one guy, he's looking kind of down. They ask me, oh, what's up? Yeah, he's okay, like, yeah. I, I, I saw, you know, a girl's panties yeah, yeah, while right, she yeah. was walking up some stairs. And, he's, and, you know, and I feel so depressed because it's like, why? Pan- and, well, my Probably my favorite line the entire show, panties are the symbol of happiness. And so they get they devise a plan to get a girl in there and look up her panties. And it's the most brilliant plan of, of, of faking. like it takes some, an hour. It takes an hour of faking some computer problem mm-hmm. to get a girl to end up having plugged something in, go up a ladder, 
And this is fucking brilliant. By the way, by a girl, you mean Ringo Chan, one of the who, best the, girls the best in the show. Girl. Yeah, that's she's voiced by Aoi Yuki, who is Madoka. She is tied. Really? She is tied. And, and Hibiki from Simple Gear. She's, she, she's great. She oh. is tied with Literary Girls, my favorite girl in the show. Let's talk she about Literary so Hold on. Girl. Before you go on. Okay. The idea of feel. That scene really captured, like, yeah, because I, she doesn't catch she doesn't catch them looking and then punch them or some stupid but, bullshit. But they Which, feel terrible. They, feel, about they, they skip school. <laughs> they, yeah, no, one three of them days. skips three days of school. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that is so. It's ac- genius. That is so like a high school thing. Where it's like, <laughs> yeah. this is going to be amazing. Then you do it, <laughs> and, and then you feel, feel deep shame. And you're like, why did I do this? I'm it's a like, terrible person. It's like, it's like the first time you try autoerotic asphyxiation. It's like this is going to be amazing, and then you're done. You're like, I'm blue in the face, and I nutted. Uh... <laughs> I what, mean, nobody yeah, else? Somebody yeah. else? Uh, Total, uh, oh, okay. yeah. Uh-huh. I've got some... Uh, Absolutely. Got, as any of you know, need to know how to tie a slip knot. Yes, I've got a lot of practice. I don't think that's, My that's dad not taught how you're me. supposed to... That's, I, don't think, I don't think that's the knot you use for that. For hanging yourself? Yes. That's. He's not talking... Don't, right. don't you kind of do that? You or, need to have a step ladder to step back on top of, but you know. I thought you just, like, put it around your neck and then tied it to the wall and then just lean forward a whole lot. I mean, if you're a fucking pussy... <laughs> I live on the edge. That's what's how you get the best nuts. Yeah, yeah I, guess, I guess yeah, the ra- <clears throat> the razor's edge is really what makes the <laughs> the, yes. the, the, the jerking work. Razor edge of jizz. Uh, uh, what were you gonna say? We were gonna talk about I literary was literary girl. We would talk about literary girl. All right, which which is a a, a running. Yeah, there, there are a few like running gags kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. In, throughout she the herself was show. a running gag. Um, Pretty much. True. Yeah, it's true. All right, where, where so it starts off. One of the guys, you know, is just. Calmly on the riverside. Everyone has seen this. You don't need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't need. Well, to. I mean, the literary girl bits are good. She's a chuny bill, and it's really funny. Yep. I don't know what that means. Uh, you don't should watch the it. show, Chuny Bio. It's about Chuny Bio. Okie dokie. A freight <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> that totally explained to me what that means. You should watch the show. Well, it's good. It is really good. It's right. very. First, don't, don't even touch the second season though. <laughs> well, I learned that with a rhyme. Um, never watching the second season again. But um, yeah, literary girl, real good. Apparently, if we're really not great. even gonna talk about it. Well, what, what do you want to talk about? What nuance oh, do you have to know. say? Like, Give like, us the nuanced opinion you have. She's very cute. Girl. I, I mean, I, I was like thinking, how she's embarrassed all the time. Like, I I love how self conscious the guys are. And, oh yeah, and this is like the perfect example mm-hmm. of it. I mean, because because he gets he gets it instantly when she stands behind him. You know, it sounds close. He's like, oh, she, all right. So she knows. I'm sitting here. She thinks like, okay, this can be some surreal romantic thing, and so he tries to come up with just some dumb fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. deep. You know, it's like the wind is cold. <laughs> yeah, and he he thinks he's just really screwing up, but, <laughs> yeah, but, but the she twist loves is, it. yeah, she loves it because she's <laughs> Her she's a, is the best. because she's like a weird Fujoshi yeah. like a, a loser. fanfic writing probably, loser. And then probably the hardest I laughed during the entire <laughs> show was when she just becomes a fucking klutz. Yeah, yeah, and her papers because she's also writing some novel or whatever, and it, her papers fly. She chases she after, sneezes she's, all over she's, herself. She's, 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 she she falls, and then she falls on him and starts crying with her legs on his yeah, shoulders, yeah. And, and he's trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, oh my. You, don't, you don't see a lot of like girls like really really fucking up in, in oh anime God. like like yeah. that. It's like the girl equivalent of falling down and landing on a girl's tits. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. like that trope. But um, Ex- yeah, sort of. But not I, even really like that trope. This, but it's this, the same similar concept. But yeah, like the, not old. it's like not just the guys are the punching bags yes, in the show. Yeah. Like yes. kind of everyone is this. And, yes. But it's always funny. So this show captured the cruelty of women. Sort of. So yeah. you know the yeah. scene. You know the scene where the girl just decides she's gonna move away from a dude in order to ruin his day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Like now I can think of at least a dozen times in high school where a girl must have done something to me just to make me feel like shit, and for no other reason. <laughs> yes. Like she did something just because, like I'm gonna fuck up this dude's day. <laughs> it's so, it's so true. It's so true. You, you guys... I, but but also, I guess the sensitivity of guys in that same situation is like, except that guy's a hardcore motherfucker. And oh, can't I, I take mean that, that one guy, but it's like, all right, uh, you... just she got your... fucking. Uh, she got fucking destroyed she at got the end got, of that. She got oh got. my fucking god! Mm. You guys didn't watch the OVAs, but there's one bit in there's uh, OVAs. There's like 15 minutes worth of OVAs. That's uh, still 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like it's like, least... it's like six two minute cool. bits. But one of them is uh, uh, two of them are following a girl home, and the wind blows her skirt up, 
and they go like, oh man, what should we do? So one of them unzips a zipper, and the other one goes like, <laughs> ah, your zipper's down, man, you look so lame. And the girl just looks behind him and goes, yeah, and then walks away, and they're like, we were pretty cool back then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, oh like, hold on, there's, there's another one where um, a girl's walking home, and she's, and she's singing to herself, and then she notices a guy that she didn't see before, and she's like, oh man, he, he noticed me, I'm so embarrassed. But then he starts singing the same song, and she's like, Okay, I appreciate it, but you really should have just stayed quiet. <laughs> and then it comes yeah. to her on a train going home, and her stomach rumbles really loud. And she's like, oh, no, I hope no one heard that. And then the same guy is standing next to her, he, and, he, and he starts imitating stomach growling noises <laughs> with his mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she's like, ugh. Uh, it's really good. And then, and then, but then, But then the last bit of that is she, she falls down, and he just walks away and doesn't help her. Yeah. Uh, I really good. like this scene. Speaking of zippers, by the way, there's one scene where... Yes. He unzips his zipper with his mind. There's so many... Uh, of, of the gifts that have come out of this show, that is the best one. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Fucking amazing. You, you, oh, you know what was, a, was you know, kind of a, a, a gag thing, which I wish continued throughout the show? Yeah. The scary stories one. You know, I don't... Where, I don't... Where, where, all right, in the, yes, in the beginning of the yes. show, it only lasts, like, two or three episodes where, the, you know, the guys are just chilling. They start telling, like, you know, scary stories, whatever. Whether it's just, like... Um, like, I, I think in the first one, they're all just... You know, one of them tells it's, like... Oh, I was at a friend's house, and he threw up, and there was a millipede in his throat. And then all mm. the other guys start throwing up, and the girl, his mm. younger sister, is already throwing up. So three of them are just now throwing up in the toilet. Yeah. And those, I thought, were really funny, but they stopped doing them. I wish yeah. they mm. continued through with those. Those were hilarious. I bet the, the, the manga could just ran out of ideas. Probably. Just like he ran out of ideas in the end. I mean, he started getting better ideas. What are you talking about? To write Toho Dojins. You don't even like Toho. Why do you keep saying this? I don't even like Dojins. No. This show is solid all the way through. What we sure. Are talking about. I think this. I like the soundtrack in this show too. Yes, yeah, there really are certain good. songs that you know really resonate. Yeah. Like, and when they come up, you're like, yes, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And um, the voice acting is amazing. I could burn. I could burn the rest of these voice acting clips. Hit me. What do I have? Hold on. Before you do. Yes. Um, oh, I only have one. The story of of that one girl who was a skull bully, and oh, how like yeah. this, fighting her her, ass. her her arc. Yeah, the like the tamest of the high school girls are funky crew. Mm-hmm. Used to be like a, or she she didn't she used to be a bully, but now she still has this like like psycho fucking yeah like monster hidden inside her. And there's the one like bit that where the um, war scene like yeah no the. The girls all like are they're about to fight, and then yes. one of them, and then one of them says, "Okay, what are the rules?" And the girl goes, "What rules? We're gonna fight." <laughs> yeah. well, there's no rules. That's a great line. <laughs> yeah, and the neighbor's just like, "Yeah, she she." I think the line was combat to her or something fundamentally different. Yeah, and they go just like, "No, we were just kidding. We're not gonna fight." And she tosses a rock that she had hidden. Yeah. without them noticing. She's gonna beat her yes. friends to death with a rock. <laughs> it's so it's um, so high concept. I love that's it. That's a great joke. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Here's Yu Kobayashi screaming. This is my last clip. She does that. Yep. She does the, that. The, in the every sound show effects in the background are pretty. I mean, pretty good too. Yeah. They, yeah. This 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 show is just K on jokes. Yes. Is that they, have, they go, make a lot of jokes about going to London? Yep. And high school girls are funky. I don't. Is it is it out of reverence or is it out of like this is dumb? Like, I, I I I think it's just it's it's supposed to be the just because of how different from the k girls they are, because they're all yes. bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I got some opinions about the k girls, man, some of them are bitches. Fuck that fucking movie. movie. At, at the end of this... Fucking goddamn movie. Strawberry piece of garbage. Fucking fucking shit. Cunt. At, at the end of this show, I just... Stephen yeah. lost his goddamn mind. Stephen Stephen has tears streaming down his cheeks right now. It's, no, I don't. Again, he yeah. can't stop having tears. He's, yeah, he can't. He's trying to wipe them off his face, but he can't, like... His hands are oh, soaking now he's wet. Licking, now he's licking them off his face. He's now licking this. the tears. Um, it's getting his shirt is soaking wet from all the tears. It's pretty salty. Do you need a cursive? anyway? Now he's now there's now right, he's just so, not so going his mouth. Now he's just jerking off. Episode, What's going I'll, on? I'm always jerking off. That's, That's a secret. <laughs> all right. Cap. <laughs> all right. So at the end of the episode, you know, they all graduate and stuff, and. Uh, but not really. Not for actual. No, just shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we got it again. It's real to me, goddammit. No. No, how? Come on, man. No, I, I, I bet just that one scene. Because they were in their third year, weren't they? No. Remember the scene after the credits where they had not graduated? Yeah, and they were going to school again. Oh, shit. Do you remember that part? <laughs> oh. Do you remember the part where that wasn't what happened? Oh, so. Shit, man. Speaking of that bit, 
I feel Everything like I feel good like, that happened was apparently a dream. I feel like we should talk about this because there was a fan theory about mm. this show. Ooh, I mean, I like it's prob- mostly a joke, but it is really interesting to think about. So, he, Tadakuni, he wakes up in episode 12, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. He fell asleep in episode 4. Do you remember? Yes. So, he, he fell asleep in episode 4, and then he pretty much disappears from the show. And then he wakes up in episode 12. So, some people think that those seven episodes were all a dream. And, since Ringo exists entirely within those episodes, that she is not real. Oh. <laughs> well, no. God. Well, no. And, and, also, and also, since Tadakuni never speaks to Ringo... People think that t- Ringo might be Tadakuni in his dream. We will never know. We will never, we'll never, it's not true, but it's, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty good. Someone fell asleep. They probably, the entire thing was a He's dream. He's in the same position when he wakes up in episode 12. That was a good rendition of the X-Files theme. Thank you. I was pretty happy about that. <laughs> I sort of, I, I, had, I began going back through, I, I'd watched all of X-Files at a certain point. Sure. I Wait, of, all of it? All the, good, all the good. Oh, okay. I, I, I was going to say, like, like, aren't there four bad season, seasons? Season six is where I stopped. Uh, oh, okay. I started watching uh, it again because it had been a good five, six years at that point. Um, sure. The show's fucking amazing. Cool. That was my note about X-Files. Go watch it. X-Files you know what, Minute. You, oh, you know what show also was amazing? Ninja Bros. Sure. All right. I, at the end of this show, uh, I just oh, like, man, this I'm is the most... really... mm. Yeah, I know those mm. things are Did really... you guys have... You are, you still have I have up. eaten probably ten of these. I have come up on these probably donuts. round six. Oh. I, I haven't had another one. I don't want one. Hey, no. Finish these, you fuck. Oh, there's like six of them. Left. Nope. Oh, my God. Anyway. I'm breathing heavily. Oh, my God. Just touching the cup <laughs> gets my hands greasy. <laughs> you yeah, know, there's... So yeah, our yeah, official, yeah. official Three Weebos opinion on on death monster horrible things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mean these delicious cream-filled donuts? Ah, they're okay. Ah, they're okay. Here's the problem. It's gonna ruin. My it's tummy. gonna ruin. Oh yeah, I mean that'll make you feel good, but they're okay. My tummy. All right. Like at the end of this show, den- already, dentistry I, makes you feel bad, but it's good for you. No, it's. The, I walk out of a dentist feeling fucking a. No, I no. did a good job. When when, this when they're year. when they're scraping your fucking teeth as hard as they can. My fucking. So hey, I went Novocaine to, is a hell of a hold drug. Hold on. When I went to my... Novocaine when I, when I, I'm like, just fu- doctor, just fuck my shit up and just have... <laughs> fuck my teeth up. Um, I, when Can I you went engrave in my initials into my front teeth, please? So, uh, just, yeah, just write damage down my forehead while you're at it. Um, <laughs> hmm. So, my most recent checkup weird. at the dentist, I had this lady yeah. who I think was a crazy person who wandered in off the streets. Well, yeah, she, a dental hygienist, they she, called them. Yes. Did you know that you, you don't need a... College education to do that job. I mean, why would you? And you get seventy grand a year for doing that job. Yeah. So, um, she's just gnash, just destroying my gums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking oh. my gums. I've had very good dental hygienists at this dentist. Mm-hmm. This bitch is just fucking annihilating my gums. And then the whole the whole while she's like, "So, this is what kind of movies you like?" <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever yeah. seen Little Shop of Horrors? <laughs> Are you getting off on this? That's a little shop horror joke. I went to the dentist just a few weeks ago, and um, there's a dental hygienist there that I usually have, and she's this like you know short little like vaguely brown lady, like probably from this. Is this, from the is, southern this hemisphere. is this your coworker who doesn't exist anymore? No, she wasn't. No, 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 completely different looking. But um, I I had her like years ago when she was brand new to dental hygienics. And she was very gentle with the uh, with the scraper. Oh, now she don't and care. E- no, every time I go, she's gotten. More hardcore with the with the thing, hardcore. just just really going going to town mm-hmm. on my teeth and uh, and uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, this time, see, I usually hate going to the dentist because I usually because they all they have all they always have a new fucking method of the fluoride stuff, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, for the, they're, for the, they're for trying the, to control our minds. Yes, but for the last like three years, I've gotten this thing where they like basically just take a paintbrush and paint your fucking teeth with yeah. fluoride. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I always feel gross when I walk out of the dentist. And this year, I just there's did... grit in your teeth. It's not grit. It's just like your lips are all slimy, and it oh. feels weird, and everything feels oh. weird. And but then your teeth are slimy, but then it transitions to like a like a like a grainy, and it, and it sucks. That's, that's the grit I was talking about. Yeah, no, I hate that. But this year, I just did like a swish thing. Where I just you just like swish around your mouth, and that I felt sparkly fresh after that. It was all right. Um. It, so would you say that you're like? Your dental hygienist is becoming, like, as she's getting older, she's becoming more of a loose cannon. She's turning closer and closer to Jigsaw, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. She's, she comes in on a fucking tricycle and wearing a mask. That's I, what Jigsaw did. I don't think... That's, 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 that's the thing. That's I don't think I ever had one, like, 
I and check up at the dentist. <laughs> no. And he opens his mouth and just Oh, God. No, no, no. My, my teeth have always been, I guess, okay. Except for the well, fact that you destroyed them. Well, here here's my problem. I don't think I... Like, because every time I go to the dentist, I go for an average check of me all, like, every six months or so. Um, and I don't think I've ever had the same person twice. I really don't remember. Huh. Um, but it, it wasn't until... Maybe they dump I, you off on the new guy. It's like a hazing probably. thing. Um, I hope I'm not that bad. But um, I, I think I already told you guys this. But, like, I found out just, like, a year ago that I've been brushing wrong my entire fucking uh, yes. life. I know how you do that wrong. It's the simplest. Because I've been brushing too hard. He's been using the it. wrong side of the brush and just scraping oh, his gums see, off. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have that problem. You know, the, so now I've been brushing like, too hard my entire life, and now my gums is a, have apparently recessed oh, to a level no. of, like, an old man. Great. And that fucks me up. Because they don't grow You back. already can't hear and can't see, and now you have, your I teeth are falling see. out. I can see pretty well. You're pretty much an old man. Yes. <laughs> old man who uh, loves anime. We're, which, we're witnessing the... the Birth of the new... We're, yeah, he, he's the, uh, the reincarnation of, of Grumpy G-son. Yes. R.I.P. Don't know who that is. He's not dead. Well, he's not you. Today. He's you now, Steven. You need to take on his... You need to get a bad like VHS he hikes. camera. He hikes. I hike? He, oh, man, yeah. I, you need I, to I you need to grow a beard. I, I like going on hikes. Grow a beard. Go out on hikes and then review I've anime while you're on before. the hike, please. I, it's just it's review, instead instead of, get a get a laser disc player. Instead of being very this one is a maple. There was a maple in this show called Abinabashi. You know their method of explaining things is actually pretty similar. I think. But like Steven, but Stevens would be more like it's just he he's explains it and then he gets a big dumb grin. I like this show. <laughs> <laughs> this whole, hold on, this is my Steven impression. So there's this show. And so there's this girl. She's not very smart. <laughs> she's she's a bit of a ditz, and she, that's fine. It's adorable. But, but and, she decides to pilot this robot called an Evangelion. And, and um, but, oh, you're telling me that it was a boy? Oh, <laughs> oh. I was just yeah, kidding. No, it's guys, a, I just forgot. I his name is Sh- Sh- Shane something. Shane Shane. <laughs> and along with his friends, us, uh, fucking uh, uh, Jessica, uh, Jessica, Alex, and, and Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, yep. Uh, <laughs> and his classmates <laughs> Timmy and Glasses Boy. <laughs> I don't know. Any, and then there's people on the bridge. Hey guys, I like this show. <laughs> I like the part. I like the part where he falls down and then he's on top of her while she's naked. And you know, stupid. like it's pretty silly, but you know, I thought it was. Pretty now I couldn't good. finish. I did. I didn't manage my time well, so I wasn't able to finish the last thirteen episodes of the film that accompanied this. But I think this is really fun. I might keep watching this. <laughs> that was Steven. Right, I'm I'm How was that? Six, I'm actually crying like six now. out of ten. All right, real. six out of ten is all I strive for. It's yes. above average. Oh it is. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy fuck. I can't believe you just blown my mind. That's, you know, what, that's what you talk like. You, you, you know how I feel about that uh, the summary of me? I was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I liked Steven. it. Steven did the Steven thing. It's meta. Oh, my fucking uh, God. But yeah, anyway, the show we watched was good. Yes. It was fine. Yes. I liked it. Like I said, most... Probably the most comfortable show I ever watched. And at the you end... You watch Gin no Saji Silver Spoon. That's the epitome of oh, comfort. Oh, shit. That, that show is like slipping into a bath made right, of puppies. What? One of the most sketch, comfortable though. shows I've ever watched. You know, Saji still has conflict um, and dumb drama. Yeah, like, but it always yeah. gets resolved in one episode or two, and it's amazing. Mm, yeah. I mean, two is a lot. You know, Saji actually had, like, stakes. Arcs. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, he passed out at one point. Crazy. Shit. He had to find her bra. Turns out bra. it was a horse bra. Bra? Um, yeah. Ja. Um, I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> you would, I, it's going to cost you far more than a dollar for a cow bra. I brought you for a cow bra. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, but I, I kind of got the same feeling that I got when watching like Samurai Champloo, where I just didn't want it to end. I want their journeys to go on forever. Go well, fucking call the mangaka. He's not dead. Just tell him to tell him you hate his stupid shit, Doge. It's fucking hey, because that'd be a lie. Oh. We'll send him a copy of this, and then he'll of this podcast. Yeah, and then he'll learn English, and then he will know that there are three people out there who want this back. Uh, hey. Hopefully, there'll be more once our scores of fans. Yeah, once and yeah, once oh, we're of bajillionaires. I mean, we already are. Do you guys dentists even look at your fucking teeth? Yeah, <laughs> because last time I was there, my dentist walks in there and was like, "Hey, my mic just fell off." Excellent job. Hey, I'm back. How's it going? Oh, I'm back. Well. 
but he just he just walked in the room and he's like, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" And he he lowers me down and he puts the mirror and he just he does it. He half hard he half heartedly looks at my teeth for like three seconds and then goes, "Ah, you know your teeth fine. Just get out of here." <laughs> it's like it's like going to a heart doctor. He's like, "Your heart's fine." Just no, because he's just all. Just, hey, uh, I know you had a triple that? bypass, but come on. Who is that actor? Old time actor. I think his name was Marty Feldman. Sure. Um, he was in Young Frankenstein. Is like I know, only like Corey Feldman. He, he had he had like the the bug eyes that just stuck out in sure. different directions. Yes, yeah, Young Frankenstein man. Yeah, yeah. That guy might as well be my dentist. How on a scale of one to like fucked up homosexual to extremely Jewish, and it's on a scale of one to Jesus Christ, how Jewish is your <laughs> dentist? Mine looks exactly like Jerry Seinfeld. You see, mine is like he's married is all fuck. Like, sure, he's got a wife. Okay, wow, well, he's, that like he's. So he's, he's, he's all fuck. I think by all Good for all him? scales of measurement, he's a hetero man. What? But this motherfucker, he, this motherfucker, he, he he's seems, pretty gay. Seems he seems of the homosexual variety. Oh, he's a little flambo. <laughs> little flambo. <laughs> Yo, girl, I'm gonna pull up my flambo. And we gotta have another the town. Uh, I'm sure someone's made that joke. The flambo just covered but, uh, in rainbow flames. I don't like to Flame judge people, below. but no, he's he's a, he's not. Actually, now that I reflect on it, maybe is he gay or is he Jewish? My mom. I don't, that, I, don't, I, think, I don't see those archetypes as being similar at all. Gay or Jew? That's no. That's I think a, that's like that classic Seinfeld episode. Gay or Jew? Yeah. yeah I, not that there's anything wrong with that. But I say um, that because one time my dentist said, "Have a nice Christmas," and I said, "You too." <laughs> oh, you <laughs> fucked up! Like, you're the worst person in the world to do that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think my mom. This could be true. Now, went to a different like, dent, you know, or, orthodontist. Orthodontist is for it's, it's called, called the gynecologist. Gyne- Gyne- okay, Steve. okay, so gyno. Um, so not that. Uh, went, That's went, what it's called, gyno. gyno. Went to a went to okay. a new, you know, dental hygienist place. Dental you know, gynecologist. New yeah. a new pe- um, pediatrician. Because she got her mouth in the straddle. Yep. Ah! Because almost everyone at this place speaks with a heavy accent. The last time I went, almost all the people I talked to had a heavy accent. What and kind and of my accent? mom just started having a trouble. It's like she she told like people. It's like because uh, uh, she had to get a new dental hygienist. He's like, well, does he speak, like, does he speak English? <laughs> um, does he have an accent? Well, yes. Hmm. Can't have that. How about, you know. Wait, why? Because my mom's a simple woman. <laughs> 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 my, my. <laughs> how, does he talk at more than no, but three it's words true. The, the, the people at, at the place that I go to. Like, the last guy I had was this, like, Turkish guy. He had to be, like, Turkish, Ukrainian or something. It's like being in college. My... I mean, maybe your college tech school. I, it's like, you, wait, your teeth are, are you telling me that your teachers there. are English-speaking, like can, Canadian, war, war, pure-blooded Canadians like ourselves? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, because I take fake classes. But I mean, I guess they're a bunch of old white folk, except for the ones who are not white. No, no Indians even. No, huh? My like my whatever. It's not important. My fucking heart doctor. Mm-hmm. I'm fairly certain was like doing experiments on people in Auschwitz or comparable internment camps. <laughs> what is this, it, 90? This motherfucker speaks like the creepiest, like he's like, so I'm going to examine your your heart. Has he ever implied oh, that he wants to to, to so sew your Peter face? Laurie. You've got a nice nose. I'd like to remove that has, and put has that he ever, under. Has he ever expressed interest in forming some kind of human centipede? He's only expressed interest in finding out if my heart murmur is gone. Oh, okay. Which is what he's supposed to do, so it's a good thing. That's yeah, that's yeah. That's to be expected of a of a heart doctor. Uh no, he's he's never sewed my face to anybody's asshole yet, but I'm going in for a checkup in two weeks, so there's always an opportunity for that. <laughs> Tell yeah, ask him for the special S A two M special. <laughs> you never go A two M. However, he do goes boys to men. Boys to Men's a good good thing. He's just softly playing. He's play, playing a Boys to Men <laughs> while, while sh- talking sh- about Nambla. shuffling their albums in the background. Yes. Let us. Uh, I learned something. Take today. off your shirt, please. I must examine. I, I, I learned. Oh, something. okay. You're a heart doctor, so this is a normal thing to do. Yeah, this is acceptable. I learned some uh, history today about uh, like during the Roman Empire, in, in, in some of the towns. Now, a lot of towns under the Roman. I know Empire, where this is going. I should have drank tonight. Under the Roman Empire, were still like free. Cities, you know, it's like they could govern themselves they just under the... love fucking boys. Yes. So much that there was... It was completely legal, but you'd even pay a tax. You would have to pay a tax to Spoil own your tax. own fuckboy. Shown in tax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, actually, you took them under your wing and taught them your trade while also boning them in the butt. Yeah, you pretty much just boned them. Yeah, but you taught... Yeah. They were your, they were your, your interns. 
I, I, you know, so you I'm literally sure. got fucked by your boss when you were an intern. <laughs> oh, yo, Whoa. high fives all. You guys yeah, know yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. I need to. <laughs> all yeah, right, buddy. I don't know okay. if we have that much to really go on from here. Let's plan this out this week. My also, get, before we do that, tell me what the fuck, where people can contact us at. I got my my doctor touched my balls for the first time when I was seventeen. That's not normal. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> <laughs> it never happened before. Oh my god! I thought it was very strange. He's, he just he grabbed them from. You're it's a, a lady. <laughs> you're a man now. Was she, was she hot? Well, okay. So it was a. It was. I, she wasn't in that day, so I had a substitute. Ah, I know. Who so this my is. my nor, my normal doctor doesn't touch balls, but this one was really like. You got a ball toucher. She was just like fucking drop them, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is not. This is, I couldn't. Like, this is not how I imagined yeah, my first time I, going. What, no, like, no. What, what am I supposed to say? Like, I don't normally do this. I, I go. As I, I, uh, uh, I go. The, I spend a significant portion of my life trying to get girls not to touch my balls. So wait, why? You should have talked about you. There. Oh, oh, me, yeah. Just like no, you got to You got to drop the underwear too, Declan. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you can't see my shame. Oh. Okay. Speaking of shame, said, that's a bummer. Speaking of shame, where can people contact us at? She, please send us anything. Send us pictures of of your terrible balls. Of your, your shame. Of your if you have, we're gonna have a worst balls contest. You got the worst balls. We our friend has three of them, so you can't really get worse than that. Oh right, he does. He really dropped that on that on us one day. That's what he's doing. I was very shocked. Um. Well. Oh no. Steven's, he, Steven's trying to language. indicate to play the voicemail that we got. Yes, we got oh, a voicemail. We got a first. I, I know. I'm super. I haven't even heard it. Oh my god. I, I really want to know. I we have we have I, our we have our first fan and the inbox is empty. What'd you guys do with it? Where'd it go? Oh, maybe it deleted itself after I fucking listened. I got it. it. Here it is. Okay, so yeah, first fan mail voicemail. Super excited. Or I'm so we're gonna. <laughs> it's from uh, none of us have heard this before. We I have haven't. no idea. I haven't. So this is new to me. So yeah, first message from our from our biggest fan, uh, caller. You are on the air. Thanks. <laughs> All right. All right. This is great. Three week oh, good job. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Man. Oh my God. You know, that's apt. It's average. Oh. It makes a lot of sense. Oh Yo, Jacksonville, God. Missouri, you're on the air. <laughs> we, we mentioned before. They'd have to listen to the you're entire the, thing. You're on the air. Tell us what you. Can you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. what's the, what's the, what's the, three three weebs at gmail.com three three weebs not a weebos three weebs yes. at gmail.com you can spell out three or just have the number three no I, I I though no we're I, not I, I. Fo- we're not fox we're not e weebs you can also contact us at beaches on the low which is now uh, we have that <laughs> okay uh, beaches on the low at gmail.com or you can call us which would be hilarious and please do it uh, at 318 Weebs 22. Please tell us, please tell us however you feel about anything. Anything Listen, at all. We will yes. solve your problems unless they're involving blowing up the United States, in which case we can't do yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think we're, I don't think we're, we're allowed, allowed to. We're not allowed back in Or there. maybe we are. I, don't, I haven't looked up the legislation on that. But I mean, we, do, we, remember when we burned down the White House during the War of 1812? That wasn't us. Or was it? That was the British. That was, that was us. That was the British. No, we did. It was, I mean, we were under British rule, but we did that. that we weren't Canucks. under British rule. It was 1812, stupid. It was Canucks. We did this. We did, we, we, we fucking, we did this. But that's, Canada didn't even exist. It doesn't count. But we, we as Canadian, yeah. <laughs> Give us this, damn it. 9332722. 318-9332722. 318-weebs22. I really, I really just want more. Like, if you could do, like, this message, but just add, like, a, oh, shit, and then hang up. <laughs> that would be that really, perfect that's, that. that's really, that's, that's really, that's really, that's really, that's really the kind of stuff we're looking for. Or you want to sing the Fresh Prince theme. Any of these things would be amazing. This is the best timeline if you did that. Um, so it, but keep in mind, you're, we're not going to play it for weeks and weeks and weeks because we record these ahead of time. But just wait, you'll hear it. Uh, so I, it's really great that my day is going to end the way it started, which is to say with a splitting headache and oh. my stomach exploding. Oh, no. Because these Taco Bell things, I think, are going to kill me. Oh, boy. I, my stomach is churning. I'm going to have my legs wrapped around my toilet, vomiting furiously into that within the next 20 to 30 odd minutes. I can't wait. I mean, you won't be here, hopefully. I'm gonna, tr- I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed away as fast as possible. Oh man, projectile! I'm gonna projectile vomit out. You can now, you now experience what our fans feel like. Just, oh. we, I mean, all we ever do is projectile vomit into the fucking mics, anyway. You did that once, actually. I mean, like, not in the mic. <laughs> not in the mic, but it was pretty, it was pretty close. Yeah, it was, a, it was a near miss. Near, I gotta stop vomiting. I've vomited more in the past few weeks than mm. I have in probably the past decade or so. I used to vomit a lot as a kid. Yeah, stop doing that. I never did. I, there was a, I had a good 
five odd year period where I didn't vomit, and it was it's counting the days. And stay since last. Have a, yeah, have yeah a, have you have a big year. sign like OSHA sign, you know, like yeah, you know, days stay since last yes. occupational. That vomit. is the joke. It's you know, it's hey girl, you want to come over? I'm gonna have my next bomb sesh. She's like, really? I get to come over? I get to come over for one of your famous bomb sesh bomb seshes? <laughs> 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 she's, she's standing next to you with her hands clasped together, like ah, he's so <laughs> cute. Hey, this is for you, girl. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Why, God? Why have you forsaken me? And you have forsaken me. I hope he asked me out after this. Ah! You're so cool.